So I currently have two max level 140 characters that have completed Caramel. And at this point, the only thing that you can do after you finish Caramel is max out your gear, you know, get jewels because there are new jewels in Caramel. And the other thing you can do is max out your new spell limit with the, the new spell that you got. So you could do that if you wanted to. And there is some new gear replacements that I talked about in my storm setup video for 140. I actually changed that one thing on that. And that was the deck. I literally just did this. So here is the comparison with the Stormy Paradox deck. And honestly, it's really close, except you get a little bit more health with the new one. And it switches out the block, because block doesn't matter, for the pip conversion. And that's pretty much it. So if you want a free Paradox deck, you can just get the executive one. These are also sold in the bazaar, so it's way easier to get than the Paradox. So that is an option if you want to go for that for every school. But... Yeah, that's pretty much the only thing I changed. The other thing is jewels, which we'll get to later in the video. But yeah, maxing out your spell elements from Caramel is something that is pretty difficult. I did complete it on my storm, and I'm pretty proud of this because it is tough to get to the third tier. You get your spell early in the world, and then, uh, you know, the 5 pip. Every school gets their 5 pip spell. But then you can choose to upgrade it. Or, I guess, you know, lower it down to 4 or 3 pips. For me, personally, I like upgrading it to the 7 pips. Because for Storm, this is basically just another, you know, good AoE that you can use that does mass damage. This basically replaces bugs. I mean, yeah, it's 2 more pips. But it's the new bugs. And 7 pips isn't too bad. Yeah, you need a Shadow Pip. So, if you get to 7 pips, this is better than bugs. And we can take a look at that. Bugs is now 940. And, you know, Sirens is lower than that. Not even, <laughs> not even a 1,000 for 9 pips. And Musicology at 7 pips is 980 to 1120. So it's doing a lot of damage for an AoE now since the, the nerfs. And it's one of the best AoEs. It's the best Storm AoE out there if you upgrade it. It's better than Sirens better than bugs so it's the best one to use if you have seven pips and a shadow so might as well just go for that for storm because if you have seven pips and you don't have shadow then yeah just use storm lord if you do have a shadow obviously that's the best if you have five pips five or six pips and a shadow bugs is better so i know everyone's probably wondering what's the best way to get these spellments and to get to rank three uh, of your caramel spell and it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of grinding you can probably get to, well, you definitely can get to rank two if you just do the side quest and just normal playthrough of Caramel. You'll probably get to rank two and you'll actually get a decent amount of the way, maybe like, I don't know, 30 to 40 spell elements into rank three. It takes 115 to get to rank three. That's a lot. It took me like 80 plus spell elements that I had to grind to get. So to get that, for me, I sat here in Gutenstadt and I farmed this sigil right here. Heidi's Hideout. It's a side boss that you can get the quest from somebody over there. And everyone, I mean, everyone that I know is, uh, is tired of this fight. I'm tired of it because you have to farm it so much to get what you want. Of course, you can farm other bosses for the spellments because pretty much every boss in Caramel drops them. The final boss is a guaranteed drop. But that fight takes a lot longer than Heidi. And Heidi is not a guaranteed drop, but you can get through these fights pretty quick. So I'm actually going to show you guys how I solo this, because this is what I would do. I would just sit here and farm it for like, you know, an hour or two at a time solo, because you can solo this one. And I would just do other things and sit here and <laughs> mute my game because um, Heidi is really annoying. You don't want to listen to her... Um, her dialogue every single time and uh, grind this out so you can see I put musicology in here because if I get a shadow yeah that's why I mute it but yeah if you get a shadow it's over you just win with musicology but yeah I would sit here and solo this until I was tired or until I got some spellments and then uh, yeah 
call it a day and come back the next day and keep farming this. They made these intentionally difficult to get. They made it a grind. So what I do is I put up 240 sharpened blades. And then I hit with, uh, with the sirens or musicology, whatever I can get. Sometimes it kills, sometimes it doesn't. Then I just use Tempest. And you repeat. Oh yeah, she gives you a free blade if you have a overtime. This will probably be more difficult for fire because, you know, she's fire. But this is what I do for storm at least. Okay, she could have hit me with, uh, with a shadow spell. She does have swarm machine. It does a lot. <laughs> So this will probably kill. Sometimes she blocks or whatever, but. So yeah, just farming this over and over again will give you enough spellments eventually. You need 115. I had to farm like 80 plus, so it took a while. She also drops the good jewels. So in your quest to max your spellment. You are going to want the better jewels and you will just get them dropped naturally because okay, she's dead and she's still talking to me. Oh, I got a dazzling blocking ruby. So and caramel chunk. We had nothing actually executive thermal. That is the best fire deck right there. You can also buy these from the bazaar if they're available, but yeah. So you do that and you just keep going. She drops best jewels. She drops the spellment. And uh, if you do that enough times, you will get stuff like this. You will get plus 20 uh, storm crit jewels, plus 19 as well. You can also get 130 plus health jewels. I have a 132 socketed there. I think I have a better one socketed somewhere else, don't I? Actually, no, I think it's in my life. But yeah, I have a 132 socketed there. And if I got another plus 20 crit, I would remove the 19 and put the other 20. But I haven't gotten it because it's rare. <laughs> so I replaced those jewels. This one I added a 26 uh, flat resist. And then a plus 132. This one, same kind of thing. So yeah, you can replace your crit jewels with the better ones. And... Uh, You'll probably get those from farming if you're gonna go for the spellments because it's gonna take a lot of runs. I would say it took me hundreds of runs, maybe like over 500. I don't really know, like maybe around 500 runs to get that. But it it was a lot. Like it just takes a long time. It's rare that I can suggest just one boss for getting all of these things, like basically the best things in the game, like the spellments and the jewels. But Heidi is it. Like you can farm this one sigil and get all these things. You can get all of your jewels from that. You can get all of your spellaments from that. The only thing you can't get is the ring. I don't think she drops the director rings. So this one, you might have to farm someone else or get it from the bazaar. But she drops the decks. The other fight that people sometimes do is this one. And this one's a little bit harder because it just takes longer. Like there's four enemies. So four enemies is going to take a lot longer than two. I don't personally like this one, but he does drop the rings. So if you want the rings, this guy would be better. He also drops jewels, and he probably drops a lot of things, and spellaments. But I just think Heidi is, is so much better. Like, Heidi is just easy. I do still want to level up my fire at some point. I was going to stream that, but I just kind of decided not to. I, was, I don't know, maybe I'm just sick of the caramel. But we will level up my fire eventually. And I don't know if I'll go for a small machine, like, maxed out. I don't think I need to. I think rank six might just be good enough but storm i wanted rank seven because i think the rank seven musicology is one of the better ones to go for i don't know about the other schools because i don't even have my other schools maxed out yet let me show you guys how much a musicology does with 191 damage and should i even frenzy i could just not frenzy there's the enchanted 1280 to 1420 <laughs> Let me just pass. Let's see if we can do it without using Frenzy or anything. And just my damage. And uh, we'll see how much it does. Oh, 
Okay, I got lucky and I got a shadow <laughs> on uh, the turn that I needed it. So yeah, Let's see how much this does. Six K. And normally I would have used Frenzy there. And I probably would have done like closer to 10K. So yeah, super good spell. Might as well just go for that. If you get a shadow second turn, you can just use it. Because people usually hit second turn, so it's a good one to have. But yeah, that is going to do it for this video. So that is where you get all the spellments in caramel. That is where you get all the good jewels in caramel. And you just repeat that for all of your characters. <laughs> it's going to take a long time to get everything unless you get lucky. And yeah, I just wish you luck on that one. Because sometimes for Heidi, you will go like 10 rounds of not getting any spellments. And then you'll go 5 rounds of getting a spellment every time. It's pure luck. The jewels are pure luck. Maybe someday they'll come out with easier ways to get the jewels. They could update the jewel packs or something. But for now, this is the best way to do it. So, good luck with Heidi. She's really annoying, but um, she does drop the best loot. So, if this was helpful for you guys, please leave a like on it. Definitely subscribe for more wizard videos in the future. Hope you guys have a good weekend, and I'll see you all next time.